If you've updated your phone this year, you'll notice there's quite a different look on there. It's called Liquid Glass, and essentially it's Apple's new interface where content kind of blends behind buttons and toolbars to make your content fill the whole screen. Some people really like it. I think it's a really fun modern effect, but a lot of people aren't so sure. It can make the buttons hard to see on tab bars, for example, when you've got colourful pictures going behind. Well, on screen now you can see the current Liquid Glass and also a new tinted option, which is new in today's update. You can probably see straight away that the toolbar at the bottom is far easier to read on the new tinted mode because there's less distraction, there's less colour coming through. It's just easier to read, isn't it? Well, let me show you how to change the setting and you can choose whatever mode works best for you. We're just going to jump into the settings app and we're going to scroll down to where it says display and brightness. From here, there's a new option called liquid glass. And when you tap on here, you can choose between clear and tinted. And you'll get a live preview at the top of the screen as you jump between the two different options. But quite frankly, the best way to actually test it is to jump into the apps that you use and see if it makes a difference for you. You can come back here and change it at any time. So if you do want to try the tinted mode for a while, which I think should be called frosted glass, but that's the side of the point, you can try that and see how it gets on for you. And while you're exploring what else your iPhone can do, make sure you check out my YouTube channel down below, press that subscribe button and you won't miss any quick tips in the future.